Hey, where do you think you're going? Okay, so it's time for a break. But don't go anywhere. Don't even move a muscle. We'll be right back after this with even more Generate Exclusives. Welcome back. We are John and Edward, or as you like to seem to prefer, Jedward. We have lined up some of TV's finest singers, plus some of the songs we performed on The X Factor, to bring you our reality riot. Now grab that remote and turn up this next one. Up. I'm John, he's Edward, and this is our reality riot. Who will be number one? Stay tuned and find out. Right now, we're at number seven and it's someone who came very close to winning pop idol in 2002 but he lost out to the one and only will young with spirit in the sky here's garrett gates all right stop collaborate and listen i is back with a brand new invention something grabs a hold of me tightly flow like a harp and daily and nightly will it ever stop yo i don't know turn off the lights and i'll glow to the extreme rock a mic like a vandal light up a stage match a chum like can dance go rush speaker that booms i'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom deadly when i play a dope melody anything less than the best is a fan love it or leave it you better gain weight you better hit bulls out the kid don't play if there was a problem yo i'll solve it check out the hook with my dj Okay, so up next, it's another song we performed on the X Factor, Vanilla Ice. Ice, ice Wait a minute. Baby. Go, do it. Wait. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. We're at number five now, and we're still all about the X Factor. These guys came second in 2008, and they've not looked back since. Yet, it's JLS. <laughs> I think we should talk about JLS being like they're really successful because they had their own like swagger and they had their own presence on the X Factor. Right they went on beyond. They weren't just like reality show people. I think JLS are always come up and say hey to us and say hey guys, it's the world. Like hey JLS, we don't say we don't call them JLS. We call them like Arisha, Marvin, Aston, and JB. And in the X Factor house, I had JB's bed. Yeah, and I had Own Quig's bed. Well, not, well, not, not literally their bed, but it was kind of like the, the frame. bed frame. Yeah. And it said Own Quig was here, and then he, on his bed he wrote, "Goes, I live life to the full, have no regrets or something." And JB wrote in his bed, "This is where the magic happened." What magic we don't know. Probably like magic spell like Harry Potter. Yeah. With their debut single, Beat Again, here is JLS. Want more brilliant videos from your favorite reality stars? Want more of us? Of course you do. And luckily, we've got more coming up after the break. So don't go anywhere. Me and I first decided to audition for The X Factor because we had such a great interest in music and we felt that going on The X Factor would be such a good way for you guys to get to know us. Our audition was like really memorable, guys. Like, John was older in 15 years' time. <laughs> um, we sang As Long As You Love Me by Backstreet Boys. And um, I it, felt took, that it took time for people to love us. But I felt that me and I, when we came into the show, we didn't feel we had to be something different. We just came in, or we were just John and Edward. We weren't, because I feel that if you're going to be successful in the X Factor, you have to come in and, and not think that you're going to be the next Girls Aloud. Be the next you and be who you want to be. I remember thinking Simon Cowell, I was like, wow, oh my god, he's an American idol, and now he's sitting down in front of me and Edward to listen to me and Edward singing, and it was kind of cool that, that like, he was, used to comment on this every single week, and he was a real cool guy, and so was Louis and Danny and Cheryl. At first, you're kind of like, whoa, there's the judges, but then you get used, and you're kind of like, hey guys, what's up? I don't think we'd do anything different because everything we did on the show had never been done before, and even if we'd stayed on long, we would have even done more, so we've no regrets. I think like, about, okay, me and I used the stage to its full potential. We never, like, sat there and just stood there and go... Like, come on, guys, we had fire. We jumped into the crowd. We came down from the ceiling. We did everything. Like, and then, like, I don't know what we... Like, we just did... So, like, our, our clothes you wore were so remember. I remember the red outfits. We had like, Ghostbuster guns. Yeah, like, come on. Who ever think on a singing show you do the songs that we did? I thought that was... I so think about all our songs was they made a huge impact. They weren't, like, a blur. Everyone could visualise, kind of go, yeah, that was John Edward week one, two, three, four, five, six... Because most people kind of go, oh my god, yeah, they're amazing, amazing. So we'll be asking them what do they do in week two. They can't even remember. And with each one of our songs, they were so memorable and such an impact and so out there. And that's what we wanted to give. We wanted just to be us, not think that we had to be a certain way. We just wanted to do something completely different. And that's what I think we did in the show. And we just had so much fun with it. Anyway, back to our show. Up next is 2006 X Factor winner, Leona Lewis. 
I think about Louis Walsh was that he believed in us from the very beginning. He never kind of had a doubt in us. He saw that we could be. And in the X Factor, like he worked with Brian Freeman, Evie, and everyone just kind of got the best out of us and make a big impact performance. Yeah. And kind of brought a really, really good show. So that's what we like aim to do. I think like Louis is really, really cool because like up to like the minute you go out on stage, it's like guys go out and do it. He never made us go out and do ballads or anything. He just wanted us to be completely different. Like I think from day one he saw that we were completely different. That we came into the show being John Edward, and he got us and we got him. And we used to chill out in Louis's room. We kind of do like our dress rehearsal in there. We kind of just like show all like all his friends and family our performance, what we were going to do. So they got a sneak preview before we went out on stage. Sometimes he, he suggests songs and like we'd have to like learn the lyrics. We always work really, really hard. Like same, I, like he suggested Under Pressure and Ice Ice Baby. Then we combine them both. We learn both songs off by her and then we combine them and we just work really, really hard. Like we were up so late at night time yeah. learning songs because we weren't just in the X Factor for ourselves. We were there for all our fans who were voting for us. We were there for think about it, we are just representing ourselves. We represent Louie, we representing like all the people that work Brian for us. Like Brian Freeman, all the work and everything that went into our performances like whoa yeah and our makeup artists and our people who did our hair like everyone has such an input into making John Edder look cool on Saturday night and Sunday the act at number three in our show was also mentored by Louis Walsh and went on to win the X Factor back in 2005 here's Shane Ward with if that's okay with you is it okay with you of course it is Shane Ward <laughs> okay it's time for a really quick break now don't go anywhere. The Jared magic continues after this. Okay, so we're here ready to reveal our number one. Number one, guys, come on. Our reality right, king or queen. But like all reality shows, we're not gonna wait there for ages and do the whole boom, 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 and everyone's stressing, everyone's about to cry, okay? Everyone's like, oh my God, what? there's gonna be an advert, but there's gonna be no adverts, guys. This is it. Here's our quick recap of the top 10. At 10, we asked you, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I can't see. Number nine was Pop Idol's Cheeky Cheeky contestants, the Cheeky Girls. <laughs> We went Insania with Peter Andre. This is insane. Pop Idol runoff Garrett Gates was at seven with Spirit in the Sky. And at number six, we relived our X Factor performance of Ice Ice Baby by Ice Vanilla Ice. 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 And X Factor finalists JLS were at number five with Beat Again. <laughs> X Factor winner from 2006 was the lovely Ona Lewis, who was at number four with Forgive Me. We forgave her because it was so good. At number three, we saw Louis Walsh's X Factor winner, Shane Ward, with If That's Okay With You. And just missing out on the top spot, 2008's X Factor champion, Alexander Burke, was at number two with Bad Boys. So there's just one video left. Who can it be? Here's some clues. They won a reality show back in 2002, and they wiped the floor with one true voice. There are five sexy girls, and one of them is now an X Factor judge. Of course, it's reality TV queens, Girls Aloud, which we love. Take it away, Girls Aloud, our reality riot, number one. Well, sadly, our reality ride is over. Time for you to leave Jedward Land and go back to your own reality. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you again very soon. But for now, goodbye from John Edward. Peace, Peace out. out.